Speaker, we want to be respectful of your, you being here today. But we do want to ask, do you intend to resign? Thank you. Speaker, I want to ask about that. There's a lot of lawmakers that are calling for your resignation. How do you respond to that? I've got one statement. Uh, I apologize for the two texts I sent. Uh, they were wrong, and I was wrong. But I've asked for forgiveness and received forgiveness. My chief of staff has resigned. Those problems are dealt with, and now the House will unify and move forward on addressing those things that need to be addressed and leading the state and making it the best state in the union. And that's all I got to say. Did you bribe anyone for votes for the SA votes? Oh, that's ridiculous. What do you mean ridiculous? But it is a question. Did you bribe anyone for the voucher votes? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I also want to ask you, if, if at all possible, uh, you, we do want to ask you, though, about the noise machines. Why did you install the noise machines? The noise machines are in every business in this country. They help people to blot out loud noise. And why did you try to blame Channel 5 for the text messages that you sent? The, the, uh, Channel 5 is saying something that's not true. Those text messages received in my, in my inbox March 1 after the judge's order. It's a fact. So did you lie about the whole thing, though? I'm concerned Channel 5 is promoting a story that's not true. Okay, the I received those text messages March 1 after the judge's order. So you need and so that here. needs to be reported. I wish I would report it. But the final question is, why are you taking all of these steps to try to block out people from hearing what's in your office? You not want to answer that? 